Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Today we are styling knee-high boots in 10 different ways. And I know everyone has a knee-high boot in their closet, so these outfits will be really easy to recreate. So let me show you the boots I'll be styling up. I'm styling three different boots, or four could be. <laughs> the first ones are these chunky boots that I got um, from New Look. I've had them for a long time now and I wear them practically every day so yeah these are regular the next ones are some brown boots because i'm sure you guys have something similar in your closets these are from clark's and they're more like rider type boots they kind of go with everything and then lastly these are more like dressier boots so these are from h&m with a pointed toe and the sort of croc design and they are just very easy to start and actually comfortable to wear and like I said, I'm sure you guys have um, these things that's really easy to recreate. Guys, sorry I missed Sunday's upload. I'm very late here, so happy new year, by the way. This is my first video of the new year. You can see I cut my hair off. There's a story behind it, but I will tell you guys in a vlog because, uh, I don't know, even my hair is like sparse, so ignore it if it looks a bit odd. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> let me just jump into the first outfit. first look or the first category is actually dresses I want to show you guys the different ways you can style dresses when you have boots because it's the very easy easy uh, very easy ensemble to put together so the first one is a knitted dress and you've seen me style knitted dresses before I insert clips here as well but this knitted dress that I'm wearing now the grey one is actually from H&M it is a recent purchase because I really wanted something easy that I can throw on it's a nice body con with a split at the back oh I just love it and it's very similar to my grey um, knitted jump oversized knitted jumper it's kind of like very similar actually it's more or less the same um, jumper but in like dress form so it's beautiful grey I like the darker grey and again it's just form fitting very very comfy and just very snug so i feel like this is a very easy way to style knee high boots this next outfit is a floaty dress whatever that's in your closet i have this one that i thrifted i featured a few times now in this video and it has like a nice deep v-neck and it's very high low in shape very like old school <laughs> it is a bit thin so i added like thermals underneath and i paired it with two boots actually i paired it with my chunky black boots and also the brown boots as well just to kind of give some variation but it's just nice to have like a fun flirty um dress that's a bit more you can dress up or dress down and you can see i added a jumper for the uniqlo over it and i feel like this kind of gave it a bit more preppy and the other one was a definitely a lot more on the edgy side because you can see the deep v-neck but this kind of really transformed the look and obviously tucked it underneath with a belt and just tucked it and left the sort of the sleeves out a little bit so you can see the dress if i was feeling really really cold i would definitely add a hat on but i think this is definitely appropriate for the the current climate right now <laughs> The next dress is a mini dress. It is a still a knitted dress. I featured a few times, but that's also how you can pair your knee high boots. Any mini dress, it doesn't really matter. And I feel like you can pair like some really pointy toe heels to dress it up. I'll leave an example on this side. But for me, I've just kept the chunky black boots and I've just added some tights and um, adding a striped blazer, an oversized blazer, just to kind of balance everything out because it is obviously cold <laughs> at the moment and to kind of play around with textures again i'm going back in with like the stripe black and white stripe top just to kind of um drape over my shoulders i like i said i just like how it looks and i feel like that's another way to add extra warmth but also i'm playing around with different patterns and layering to kind of see how it looks so that's another way I'll style this and obviously if I'm wearing my coat I'll still just add the black and white um, jumper or even like grey jumper as well of, on top just to add an extra layer and some, some texture and stuff. So that's another way I'll style the some boots as well. So moving on to skirts. So the first skirt I'll style this with is obviously a more like a skater style um knitted skirt i think <laughs> it's a really easy skirt to throw on and i've just thrown on a cardigan alone and i just buttoned it up and i've added my baker boy hat for accessories and for warmth because you yeah, see i ain't got no hair 
and I decided to pair it with the knee-high pointed boots because it just adds it just makes it look more dressy and I added a pop of color with some red just a red handbag and this is from River Island and I've added my black coat from mango it's really actually a neutral all black look if you think about it but obviously i've added in some texture with the cardigan and the pattern and i've added a pop of color with the red and obviously styled up with accessories and stuff like that so that's an easy way to style it and obviously it's cold so obviously you have your tights <laughs> But we're going to jump into another skirt look because I feel like this is the easiest way to style knee-high boots is to scrub any skirt. <laughs> another way to style these boots, obviously, is with a satin midi skirt. I mean, it wouldn't be this video if I didn't mention the satin midi skirt. But this is just so easy. You literally just throw on any sort of jumper or high neck, turtleneck or whatever the case is and put on chunky boots or whatever boots you have and how cute are these i found this cardigan in my mom's closet like she's had it for years so i'm gonna practically call it vintage at this point because it's old but i just love the fringe on here it's kind of giving me a little bit of a, a boho it's a really chunky knit um like really warm as well i just love it and i feel like this is so cute with like the satin mini skirt um yeah definitely a little bit on the bulky side but i i like it i'll wear it um, the next way i'll style my pair of knee high boots is with some leather shorts and i think like these are so cute to wear um all year round to be honest for me i paired them up with tights i will include two clips here either side so you can see them i paired it up with a pointed toe so you can see how it looks a bit more dressy a roll neck green jumper from Marks and Spencers and obviously some funky tights. You can do pocket up tights or whatever tights, but obviously it was rhinestones because it was like festive season. Or you can just do some plain tight and a long coat or add your accessories with like the Baker Boy hat and obviously a nice sort of chunky knit um, jumper as well, just to keep you warm and snug and obviously a long line coat as well so you don't be get hit with those winds from the back. So that's another way for you to style um, knee high boots is just either with the chunky boots or the pointed ones. It doesn't really matter. A cute pair of um, shorts in the winter time is such a nice chic and even very edgy way to style these um, boots as well. The next category to style knee high boots is leggings and this is one of my favourite ways to style it because it's so easy and really straightforward. You just check anything on top and you're good to go. So for this outfit I pair with an all black base because it's just easy. <laughs> And you run out of the house and you don't know what to wear, then I absolutely recommend this. I just paired a blazer, an oversized blazer on top, but you can literally pair anything on top, like a cardigan or maybe a shirt or whatever the case that you have in your wardrobe. This one is actually from Naked or NAKD, whichever one the girls say it. And yeah, it's just a neutral blazer, especially if you're going to some sort of meeting or brunch or whatever the case is. And then obviously my um, turtleneck from H&M. Um, just really black bases. These leggings are from Wolford. I've never heard of that brand before. I got these pair for Christmas. They're really, really sturdy. We'll see how they hold up. Um, but apparently it's a really, really good brand. So I've been told. And I've got my chunky boots. But again, you can pair this with any of the three boots that I'm going to show you. So let me just show you two more ways to style um, boots with leggings. And yeah, let me just change it to the next outfit. Next look is definitely exactly the same, same all black base and I've just added a white shirt on top just to show you some versatility. This is an oversized shirt from H&M I picked up recently and I've been after an oversized shirt for a while because the last one I had was dead. But this has got, a, this is thicker because the last one I picked up, the last one I saw was too thin so I wanted it to be thicker. So yeah, anyways, I love a good shirt look how cute this is like this is so 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 cute and obviously for like a pop of color and a layering i decided to kind of just drape this on top so this is my chunky knit my green one so and i feel like this will layer quite nicely as well especially if i'm wearing um my black jacket so this is another way to layer up or you can put like a jumper over the top so you can just peek through at the bottom but I like adding the green here as well and obviously when I put my jacket on I'll do the exact same I'll just layer like the, the green on top. 
and I just love how it looks. Um, also, I have a denim shirt that you can also throw on top instead. But this is just a really cute way to style leggings. It's just really fun and really, really easy. The next way to style leggings is just with a nice flowy um, top, especially if you just want to kind of dressy, a little bit dressier to be honest, um, and just relaxed as well. Especially if you're in you know, a warmer climate, um, I think this will be a nice alternative as well. But if not, then I can easily add a blazer on top or I can add my puffer jacket because that puffer jacket is warm. You know, sometimes you're outside and when you get inside because you're so stuffed up, you're so warm. But by the time you get I mean, like, you get indoors and you just feel so like chalky. So I feel like these are nice as well, like where you're out of way outside and when you get inside, you're good to go. Or you can actually just wear a long line cardigan. I feel like with this, there's so many different options, but I feel like this is just so like cool, casual. You know, you don't want to be anything to like choke your stomach or whatever, and it's just flowy. This top is actually from H&M, and like I said, the, the leg is Wolford, and these boots are Clarks. These are the brown ones, and I feel like it just really goes nicely together. So this is just an, an alternative to styling leggings. Just thought I'd show you three different options. And yeah, I think those are all the options actually. So let me move into the next category. So the next category is jeans. If you have skinny jeans, that's great or not, because I know a lot of people don't wear skinny jeans anymore, including myself. I actually have these mum jeans from H&M, but these are practically tight enough to be skinny jeans. So I will, I actually still wear these with boots in fairness. And I've just paid it with my stripe blazer and I've got like a, a vest inside that I thrifted. And yeah, this blazer is from um, Italy. Yeah, I've seen this over and over again, but I just love this blazer so much. And these are the denim sort of washed, gray washed jeans. I'm actually thinking, oh, almost had a hiccup there. But I think this looks really, really nice. It's just a really easy, casual look. It's super, super comfy. And if you're still wearing your skinny jeans, then this is a great way to just um, wear knee high boots. You can wear any boots. I've opted for the chunky ones, but I'm gonna try on the pointy ones as well, just to kind of show you how it looks. And this is just a really relaxed look that you can run your errands in or have brunch and still look um, cool. I actually quite like this sort of double breasted thing. I just literally just threw it on, literally, because sometimes I don't want it to be so stuffy because then I can just wear my scarf and stuff like that. So absolutely love this look. I think like I feel so chic and put together. And um, for bag, I'm just opting for my little metallic bag that I wear everywhere. And this coat, I can just wear like any jacket on top and my scarf you know whatever i'm good to go this next outfit is definitely one of my favorites because it's so me very relaxed chic and it's just so easy going you know white shirt oversized white shirt matching sort of turtleneck from both from h&m actually they're kind of off-white they're not quite white more like ecru that sort of um color now paired it with wide leg jeans from mango these are like the only ones i own if be honest these are indigo color and they're definitely a little bit too tight for me at the moment but that's okay um high knee boots these are the pointy ones that i showed from h&m and i feel like um these are a great way to kind of just pair your high knee boots with some wide leg jeans and especially with a toe pointing out i feel like it just looks so chic and also you know edgy depending on how you style it and i feel like this is just a really really easy going look cars outside <laughs> so for a pop of color i've just added a red bag to this whole look because y'all yeah, know we all need some little pop of color here and there because this is otherwise just a really simple easy um really yeah very easy look to be honest and easy to recreate which is the point of the, today's video but if you enjoy this video let me know which outfit is your favorite and um check out this video here if you want more inspiration because girl i got you covered as usual thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in this video here bye